Travis Wayne did so. Growing up in the Mormon church, I believed everything that I was told. And uh, as my peers in Southern California were not wanting to be honest, I was told lots of lies by my peers. And being a Mormon, gullible to whatever anybody tells me and believing that they would never lie, I soon found out that's not the case. People lie, <laughs> lie, lie. And uh, I realized that I didn't want to be spreading other people's lies. Because people would then say, well, Travis told me this. And I realized that I'm responsible. And I don't want to be guilty of deceiving and lying other people. And so, as I applied it to the church, there were questions that I had. The church was not giving us answers to. A lot of cool stories, you know, a real supernatural hybrid mortal deity appearing to Joseph Smith. And I wasn't smart enough back then to know enough of the church and the doctrine and the theology to say, hey, wait a minute, he wasn't baptized, he didn't receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, he didn't go through the temple, wait a minute, <clears throat> that came later. But for me, it was, I wonder how Joseph Smith translated the book of Abraham. And uh, I started seminary with uh, the brand new editions of the scriptures that we currently use today <coughs> in English. And so I was of the first wave of the first generation to use the brand new quad. And I still remember asking my mom, as I had found pictures so that I didn't have to read, <laughs> in the book of Abraham, the facsimiles, and I asked my mom, well, how, how are these translated? And my mom couldn't just come out and say, I have no idea. She instead said, oh, that's higher learning for adults. You need the Spirit. Have I not been baptized? Have I not had the Holy Ghost? But again, still too young in the knowledge of the Gospel to be able to make that connection. Instead, it was like, that's unacceptable, I want to learn. Of course you can't say that to your mother. She might stick soap down your mouth when washing your hair. <laughs> yes, she did that. And so uh, she had me shower after that on my own. <clears throat> and uh, going through life, we didn't have the internet didn't have Google search, didn't have a Wikipedia page on the Book of Abraham and, and how Egyptologists translate the text. So everybody can now know the texts. And so for me, it was a matter of, okay, nobody's done this. I have to figure it out on my own, and I'm clueless. I have no clue how to do it. So as I grow up, I go off to Rick's, go on the mission to New York, New York, 
he should be having is that reunion. Is it today? Or is it the weekend? Might be the weekend, Saturday. Got a reminder of the day, and, and if I want to come, I can show up. <coughs> Came back to Rick's. Was uh, dating a woman whom everybody said we were going to get married. And uh, I, it just, it was too quick for me, even though she was the first kiss. And, uh, yeah, Michelle Benz. I remember her name. And then, uh, went back to being lonely. I didn't have the same attention that I had before my mission. Before my mission, I never had to ask a woman to go on a, to a dance. Nope, they all asked me. Come home from my mission, they all avoid me. They all stay away. Very weird. <laughs> what is that with women? <clears throat> and so, then, uh, met the most perfect woman in the universe, Leanne Murdoch, and for some stupid reason, I thought I wasn't good enough, and canceled number two, and, uh, then number three, I decided to settle. <laughs> Realizing it was stupid of me to pass on the first two. <clears throat> and I should have passed on the third, but the babies were just so cute. But I don't know. I don't have the babies, so I guess it's not worth it. But she took me to Canada, where I went to the University of Lethbridge. And in my final year, the guidance counselor took me in and said, hey, you've never chosen a major. <laughs> yeah, I'm just slumming. <laughs> Let's see what you've done. Okay, well, you've taken all uh, biblical studies courses from Thomas Robinson. Uh, you've taken Latin at the beginning when you first got here. And... Uh, got philosophy of science. So let's do a dual bachelor's for you. She created a dual bachelor's just for me. Nobody else. There is no bachelor's for any of that. There was a dual bachelor's created just for me. And uh, we have a geology professor who uh, knows biblical Hebrew. We'll get him to do one class for you. And uh, Thomas Robinson knows Greek, so we'll get you in his class too. And ta-da! Dual bachelors with a minor. And in the Biblical Hebrew class, I uh, had everything crammed down our throats. It was awesome. Because he knew it was just going to be for the one class. and. Uh, and so he gave us everything there is to know about the Hebrew Bible and translation and, and uh, Paleo-Hebrew. And despite others who have made claims that they think they know how it devolved into Aramaic script, they're all wrong. Because he, in the first class, uh, went over the Paleo-Hebrew script and said, hey, nobody has a clue as to what, how this is deciphered. And he showed us some clues, some little fun stuff, you know, like the two D's of David form the star of David, but also some vocabulary, and some curious spellings, but still nobody can figure out the pattern for the whole, for whole vocabulary. And, uh, and so, 
six months later, I deciphered Paleo Hebrew. <laughs> because of that clue. <clears throat> and because he said, the Masoretes fixed the translation. There is one and only one translation of the Hebrew text of the Bible. The Jewish publication has the English version of it. It is the correct translation. There is no other correct translation. Because they fixed it with the vowel points. Light bulb goes off in my head. Oh! Take out the vowel points. Start all over from scratch. That's what philosophy of science taught me. Is that when you fail in your your test theory, your theory test, you got to start all over again. You can't keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. That's dumb. So that's what I did. And I became a translator of Paleo Hebrew, having deciphered it, and then uh, having recognized that it came from different characters in Egyptian hieroglyphs. What do you know? Egyptian petroglyphs have the hieroglyphic characters that are not listed in the sign list. I want to know what those are. <laughs> Don't hold back from me, Egyptologists. And so, yeah, because I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew, I walked right into Egyptian Pitcherglyph decipherment. I don't know why Egyptologists didn't do it. I guess they didn't translate or decipher Paleo Hebrew. And so, yeah, I, I then uh, know exactly how Joseph Smith translated the King Follett Discourse's Biblical Hebrew. I know exactly how he translated the Book of Abraham question that I asked my mom, which my mom dismissed as unknowable by giving me a lame excuse, is not, it is knowable. Book of Mormon in Moroni chapter 10 verse 5, and by the power of the Holy Ghost you may know the truth of all things. You notice that it wasn't a spiritual witness. did believe that Joseph Smith was correct, but I had to go through science to produce the results in reality, not just stick with the spiritual witness. And I had to keep it on topic. I couldn't go around helping my neighbor walk across the street or clean her house or something like that. Something unrelated to the spiritual witness. The faith, the belief, has to be related. So, <clears throat> anyway, so if you build a boat, you don't go wash your neighbor's dishes. Why isn't the boat built? I washed all these dishes. I'm the good guy. <laughs> so, here's where we get to what I wanted to talk about is I've chased out all the others who are not interested in my topics. So the rest of you will now get to hear what I have to really say to you. As you've been paying attention to my videos, it's the last days. And the Book of Mormon has even told us it's the last days. So again, the church is wrong about the Book of Abraham. I found out the truth about the Book of Abraham through using science. The church is wrong about the Book of Mormon. I found out the truth about the Book of Mormon using science. It's coded. That's why it was written mostly by Sidney Rigdon. And it's why Joseph Smith Sr. had to rewrite Junior's botched job with 116 pages. <laughs> That's 
that's why it has the Tree of Life. And Solomon's Temple. That's because J Senior had to take over. And uh, notice that he used Solomon Spalding's book that Sidney Rigdon had in possession. And so with the Book of Mormon, knowing the code. After all, the Doctrine and Covenants was encoded, and they didn't get all of it in the, that 1981 edition. They missed some, as I've gone over with you. And so why not the Book of Mormon? I mean, seriously? A history? <sighs> and so, knowing now, with the signs in the heavens, and the patterns of the deaths of prophets with lunar eclipses, the video I did not too long ago, we're due for another major deaths of prophets. And in fact, prophecy in scripture, outside of Mormon scripture even, even Deuteronomy from the Torah itself, says that the false prophet's going to die in the latter days. That's Nelson. And so, as we are there with the pattern, we had the lunar eclipse. Prophet didn't die before because it's a duel. There's one in November. But the end of the Jewish year, 3333, ends September 7th. And we had a annular solar eclipse just last week was it last week yeah the 10th wasn't it <coughs> and so any day now I expect some deaths to occur we're in the exodus year this is the prophesied exodus year so we've had the signs in the heavens prophecy for the Exodus, and we have a, a countdown clock to September 7th. And I've already told you in other videos that my mission is over in trying to get Mormons to leave the Mormon Church. They're not. That's clear now. They would rather send me death threats, just like the scripture prophets. Isn't that interesting? Mormons are fulfilling the Antichrist role. Great and abominable church role. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Uh, and so, uh, doing videos is for the most part useless. YouTube has control over me. And as much as there are those of you who would like to steer, still hear from me, they're just too much opposition from the church and from YouTube and from Mormons and there are some things that need to be done if there will be hope to build Zion because it's not built the church is the great and abominable church so they're not building it they're building their evil empire and preparing for 2024. They expect to win and conquer. And so if they fail, there are some things that obviously will need to be done. And the question is, will it be able to be done? Because there's only a small handful of you. And yes, in times of crisis, people go where there will be safety, where there will be others who are going to rebuild. I, I can still see Mormons staying here in the rubble, <laughs> if that's how it's done. I mean, they're... 103 degrees today, my hell. 
And that's just right where I am. It has never been this hot since I've lived here for the past six years. Never. Oh, dear God. And so I can't imagine where there's actual pavement cities. I mean, they've got to be upwards of 120 billion. <laughs> People are probably dead. <sighs> but if that isn't what chases us out, if uh, being punished for water use, don't you drink that water! And if no natural disasters causes it, but I am kind of curious that I found out about the earthquake thing at Temple Square. It just happens to be the connecting place of two fault lines. <laughs> Was Magna a warning? Knocking out the horn? <laughs> there are lots of Mormons who still are waiting for the earthquake talked about in prophecy. But there's no way to use science to predict that one. Signs in the heavens? Yeah. Destroying of the environment so that we have a climate change? Yeah. Because <laughs> we can do the percentage of methane mixed in the Earth's atmosphere to recognize how polluted the air will be when it finally is unbreathable. We can do that with science. But earthquakes? No, nobody's figured that out yet. And then the weather... They can only figure out a week in advance, and even then, it's, it still changes as you get closer to the day. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I, I have no idea what will happen, but I do know what needs to go in case such a thing occurs. Because I don't want to just give up and say, all is lost, Mormons aren't going to repent, and, you know, the earth is wasted. So I'm not going to bother continuing to plan for Zion. Because what happened to me when the church had me locked away, not in prison, locked away, for six years of my life in their prison camp. It's the secret prison camp of Utah. And they were going to have me locked up for the rest of my life and I was going to be assassinated during that process. I was not supposed to be out, but I did. And I got out just in time for the latter days, 2014. Remember that tetrad? Yeah, I sure do. And the timing of it was just too much of a coincidence to be coincidence. And then what I experienced, the inspiration, if you want to call it revelation, fine, that I got before the torture began. Because I still remember asking God, why are you doing this? I'm here for the rest of my life. Why? This is worthless information. It will be of no use to anybody with me gone, away from society, never to get out. And then I got out. <laughs> so yes, I can't give up on Zion yet. And despite the other attempts to have me assassinated, you, know, you hear the fan in the background. I don't know if there are those who are here when I was doing the assassination from neglecting my air unit. Record-breaking heat that year. And nope, we're not fixing it. 
Screw you, Travis. Die for all we care. If you don't like it, leave. And then the others, as the church ordered, while I was suing them, they ordered to have me exterminated, gone, destroyed. They tried it all just so that the lawsuits wouldn't go through. And they were supposed to, but the federal judges sided with them in the end, which means they got to the federal judges too. I mean, I was given Judge Furse, who was fired because she let Kay Birmingham's lawsuit against the church go through. Oops, she didn't realize the church was untouchable. Now she does. She feared for her life when she was assigned to my case. She knew exactly what they were doing to her. She was fired because of Gaddy versus COP, and so then they assign her to Travis Wayne Goodsell versus COP? Yeah. She knew exactly what was going on and did nothing until she was out from being fired. So I'm contemplating as to whether to even update you on what I'm doing because the others who think it's funny to give me death threats as Mormons will still be watching my videos. I still have stalkers. I still have regulars. And it's picking up again. The Mormons who think, oh yeah, we'll show him with a thumbs down. Yeah, church is true. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'll just share with you what I am contemplating on. Uh, some things that obviously need to be done, blueprints, I know exactly how it needs to be done, but again, I haven't put it out on blueprint paper yet. I have, I bought an arch architectural program to design it. And I already know how it's supposed to be done. Uh, but I'm still contemplating, because I don't want to force people to live, you know. Because you have the new subdivision homes, you have to accept how they designed it. If you want your own design, you have to have the money to do that. And that's above and beyond the 500000 for a pre-designed home. And... Uh, the economy, I, yeah, I've already got that down. I've published what the economy will be. I've, uh, uh, the government, yeah, done. We don't need government. <clears throat> and you may say, well, what do we do when somebody commits a crime? Well, we've removed money from the equation. The only crimes will be social behavioral crimes. You know, she won't date me, <laughs> so nobody will date her. Those are the only ones I can foresee being a problem. Because if you take away power, you take away money, all you're left with is sex. <laughs> so, uh, I've already got that figured out for punishments. But, uh, and the religion, yeah, I've already published on that. I've done these videos for you on how it's supposed to be and how it's not. So, yeah, the religion's already taken care of. Uh, uh, and then a record of the people. That's what these videos have been for you, if you hadn't noticed. I've been retranslating the Egyptian documents through these videos for you. Sometimes with the Egyptian, most of the time without. I've been doing it in your midst. I've been sneaky that way. <laughs> because I realized that to actually type it all out 
is just going to take forever. So, but uh, I still have the files of pictures, the files of music, the files of, of news stories, the files of entertainment, movies. You know, I buy DVDs to convert them to digital. You know, people think, oh, we have to do away with the things of the world. No! Who told you that? Oh, right, the church told you that. <laughs> oh, they have beaten tone. <laughs> it causes you to be sinful. <laughs> no, there's a lot of good lessons in the movies, especially in the R-rated movies. The false doctrines are typically in your G and PG rated ones. <sighs> but, but yeah, all of this is required. And uh, yes, if Frederick's listening, Legos, we'll definitely try to make sure we have production of Legos and bring back the classics. We're going to have to somehow obtain the recipe for making the plastics. And I think we have it. Uh, there's like a toy maker thing that you can do for gaming and stuff. Where you have this machine that makes 3D images. It's kind of expensive. I don't have one myself, but I'm aware of it. But yeah, all those things, you know, clothes, I wear Levi's, Hanes shirts. If we can reproduce the same quality, then great. No Wranglers. <laughs> They're the devil's pants. <laughs> and I hope you understand we don't need magic underwear. I think that's obvious, but, uh, yeah. so, yeah, this is just what I'm doing. I have to go through the picture files, the uh, document files, uh, and the video files, and organize them. Uh, more so, with, well, the news files I have to go through. But yeah, the news files is tough. The news doesn't want you to have a historical record. It's just... And then YouTube, my hell. They're like, no, copyright violation. No, public domain. No! <laughs> we are the copyright law. No, you're not. But yeah, news just doesn't want to let people know what's going on. They do their show, and that's it, that's all. They don't even call it news, because according to the copyright law, news is not, it has to be public domain, and yet they've purposely made it into a show so that it's not news. bypass the copyright laws. So that's... Uh, so, yeah. And then the historical records, things that news doesn't cover, you know, like the, all, all the different empires around the world from the beginning. The history of the Earth, the history of space, and how the solar system, galaxy, all that got started. You need to have all that so that education will still be involved. Real education, science based education. No more of this creationist crap. We're only 4000 BC, and therefore 
everything has to fit within that narrative. No, you're wrong. No, God will smite you. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hey, what are you doing with that sword? I am God's wrath. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're the true church, all right. Might makes right. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, if you guys are interested in joining, great. Uh, do what you can on your end. Uh, I let you know what's going on, so whatever you're good at, make sure that you can share, because that's part of the economy. So yeah, if you've got digital documents, music, movies, don't assume that I've got them. Make sure that you bring along. We'll add them in. And if we've got duplicates, we'll choose the better of the duplicates. No big deal. So, yeah, but this is only if destruction happens when we get to build Zion. And I, it's just, like I said, too much has happened for me to just give up and say, nope, no Zion. And it's strange, because the guy who's given me the death threat, the main guy on YouTube, who's a YouTube employee, he never, he never supports the church, he just attacks me, which is strange. Because as if he thinks that destroying what I say Proves the church true? <laughs> I, I don't know. He's just psycho. You know. So I don't know. But yeah, we got to figure out travel and all that stuff. But we don't know what's going to happen to cause it. So that's the thing. That's what we wait for. But getting there. That's what we can prepare for. So that uh, whatever you're good at, bring it and share so that we can all benefit from it. And so if it's making clothes, yeah, make clothes. If you can carry it, great. <laughs> you might want to stick to patterns, a sewing machine or a serger but you get the idea. We're going to need food. It's obviously seeds. So I, yeah, but knowing when is going to be helpful because seeds don't last forever. No one lives forever. Alrighty, that's it.